Hello, welcome to Fresh Death Comics. I'm your host, B. Luke. And I'm Amy. And this is The, the Rundown. Rundown Marvel Edition. We're bringing you all the new Marvel books out this week, November 29th. And we have partnered with Fat Cat Comics, located in Johnson City, New York, to bring you this show. And guys, there's a lot happening in Marvel. The gang war has started. Zeb Wells, Cody Zegler, Julian Shaw, and friend of the show, Zoe Vesquez, is bringing us this big event. And if nothing else, you should pick up this book for the fact that Spider-Man is being drawn by Joey Vesquez, and I feel like I'm swinging through the skies with his art. Man, he should be on all the Spider-Man books. Also, Joey and his wonderful family went through a lot during the process of this issue, and I just want to say, from Fresh Death Comics, that our thoughts and prayers are with you guys, but you nailed it, dude. This is amazing. And with that being said, you should be picking up cover B because Joey did it. So let's get into it. The gang war has erupted in New York. Learn how it started and how it'll end for a few people. This book is the perfect catch-me-up for anyone who's behind or maybe just wants to jump in for the first time. Here in the Amazing Spider-Man Gang War, First Strike, Issue 1. That's right, B. Luke. The gang war is affecting everyone in New York. And whose story should we read? The mayor of New York. Duh. How can Mayor Luke Cage handle the city from these criminals? Special first appearance here. Don't miss it. In Luke Cage, Gang War, Issue 1. And once you're done with the mayor, let's go to everyone's favorite, Spider-Woman. She's hot in the streets searching for her baby. But when the gang war erupts right in front of her, what will she do? And how will she find her baby in the midst of a war? You gotta find out here in Spider-Woman, issue one, gang war. The end of the Blade family team up with Miles here in Miles Morales, Spider-Man, issue 12. Plus, it's a sneak peek of how the gang war will affect Miles because gang war is coming for you, Miles. Let's switch paces because we don't want to forget about this number one. It's Howard the Duck number one. It's a birthday edition. Howard is this many years old. Congrats, you old duck. To celebrate, Howard is dancing around the multiverse, learning the what ifs. What if Howard the Duck was Star-Lord? What if Howard the Duck was president? What if Howard the Duck joined the X-Men and more? And along for this journey, we got Chip Zdarsky, Joe Coinis, Malik Kay, Will Robson, and so many others. You don't want to miss it. Fall of X ends in a few books this week. The Fall of X is coming to a close. As Ms. Marvel, the New Mutants' last issue is here. Don't miss her first adventure as an X-Men here. And the new Mutants in Valhalla's adventures are coming to a close here in the Realm of X, Issue 4. And it wouldn't be an X-Men week without a new number one. We have a one-shot for you. X-Men Blue Origins. What's the blue for? Like you don't know already? This is it, the origin story of Nightcrawler and his parents, Mystique and Destiny. Moon Knight's days are numbered. This is it. He dies next issue. Predator vs. Wolverine, Issue 3. Marvel Zombies, Black, White, and Red, Issue 2. Captain America, Issue 3. And those are all the Marvel books out this week. And don't forget about our special with Fat Cat Comics. It, ha- it ends at the end of the month. Yes, yeah, so all you need to do is show that you guys subscribe to the show. That's all you need to do once you make your purchase of $10 or more to get 30% off. That's a really good deal. It's so good. Run, don't walk, and bye, everybody, bye.